What's going on guys, it's Nero from UK Mobile Review. In front of us we've got the Nokia Lumia 1020 and we're going to show you how to set up your email accounts. First you need to go to settings. We've got it pinned to the start on a live tile. Otherwise you can swipe like such, scroll down to settings and select settings. The next step is to hit email and accounts, then add an account. Now you've got loads of options. Now if you've had a Nokia smartphone in the past, such as one running on Symbian, you may have had a Nokia account to connect to the Nokia store. Yes, there's a lot of Nokia there. If such, and you want to set this up account, though this may also be your Ovi, Ovi account, Ovi email address, there's numerous options, select Nokia account. If you're trying to set up email for a business or your work server, you maybe you've got an Outlook.com account, you've got your own server that uses Microsoft Exchange, you've even got Office 365 and you want to add these accounts, you select the Outlook option. Got Hotmail which allows you to set up either your Hotmail account or your live account, Yahoo Mail, Nokia Mail, link to your Nokia account, Google, so this could be Gmail, you may even have Google Apps which we'll come back to, IBM Notes, you've got another account which is POP for POP3 and IMAP, or you've got Advanced Setup. The Advanced Setup is for people who have certain policies required to add to their device, such as if you're doing it for business purposes, you may give your work employers the right to wipe or remove data, or even force to completely reset your device remotely. You won't really need to use the Advanced Setup, Unless, again, it's for those reasons we've outlined. If we hit back, under more, you'll see the option to add your Sinawebo account. Apologies if that's been mispronounced. Now, for each one of those, you're going to have different options. And you'll be asked different information. We'll give you a quick look through each one and just talk you through a few of the main ones. So for the Outlook, you'll need your email address and password. From here it may go on to then ask you for your server information and even your mailbox and domain information. If you don't know these, ask your webmaster or Hotmail, straightforward, just email address and password. Google, email address and password, it will set up everything yourself. For Pop and IMAP, email address, password, and then it will ask you for incoming server, outgoing mail server, SSL security types and ports. We're just going to touch back on something we've mentioned a couple of times, which is Google Apps. We use Google Apps for the UK Mobile Review email address account. If you have a Google Apps account, you have two ways of setting it up on your device. You can go through the Google option, or you can go through the Outlook option. Now, remember, if this is the if you have a Gmail account, you do need to use a Google Apps Google account because you won't be able to set it up via Exchange. For Google Apps, however. We recommend Exchange, but there is one key difference. If you set it up using the Outlook option, which uses the Microsoft Exchange protocol, it gives you the option to select to synchronize your contacts. However, if you set it up via Google, it doesn't. So if you do need your contacts from your server on your device, we recommend using the Exchange option. And that's how to set up your email on the Nokia Lumia 1020. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, there's a lot more how-to guides on the website. Until next time.